Recreating this effect might be quite tricky, but Blender got you covered. Okay, now this time I pull out this effect. So first, the first thing, get your model. I only need this hand, so I will just separate this. Okay, by pressing this. Okay, this is this. I don't need that. Now I will just add my camera. Just tap next to the location. So now this is great. So go to the motion tracker session. Okay, now I add my footage. Set the motion model to perspective. Now set the match to previous frame. Don't forget to turn on the search. So we need it. Okay, to add the marker, just press control click. Okay, now we have the search. Scale it up, then rotate it. So we can have it fit. Okay, so that is great. So now let's go to the tracking settings here. Just click on it. Now we have this. And I have the drink dot, so we need to enable the drink. So the green is only enabled. Now we have only the green to track. So track. Now you do your tracking and everything is really going well. Okay, click on reconstruction. Alright, now come to the down button. Now select empty to track. Okay, by doing this, now we link the empty to the track. Okay, now we have the empty in 3D. Now go back to 3D layout and we have the empty. Okay, now let's choose and add our footage. Okay, click on it. Now we have our footage in the camera view. Okay, now when you play this, you see what is going on that our track follow the hand. Now, I only need the part of the hand. Okay, I don't need one finger. Just cut out the part we don't need. Now, let's delete the face. Delete the vertices. Okay, now let's cut all the remaining part and we we'll leave the one we need. Okay, now clean this thoroughly so that we have a clean mesh to work with. Looking at this geometry, you see that the origin of this mesh is a little bit falling out. So we need to fix this. And to do this, we need to snap this origin back to the center of this mesh. Okay, go to the edit mode. Press A to select all. Press Shift A and select cursor to select it. Go up to the object settings. Select set origin and set the origin to geometry. By doing this, we have the origin at the center of the geometry. Now I can transform this mesh properly to fit the position of my hand. Okay. Now I need to parent the object to the empty. Click on the object, then shift click to select the empty. Now press Ctrl P to parent it. Also set it to keep transformed so I can adjust the mesh to properly follow the hand because we only have the location of this point and we need to transform the rotation. Okay. Turn on the auto keyframe so we can automatically add the keyframe when we adjust the mesh. Now we can go ahead and transform this whenever we have a slight movement on it. Okay, now I'm doing a rough job on here because of the sake of the tutorial. Okay, now you have to take your time and do this perfectly because you don't want to have a sliding hand on your real hand. Okay, now we need to cut out all the top parts of this hand where we don't need. Okay, just click on it, select the delete the others. Okay, by doing this, now we have the face top. Now we need to fill this up. Now press E to exclude the press up. Press S to scale it down. Now, Okay, now I need to also do the top part, so I press F to fill that. First of all, go to your camera view, go to the edit mode, now press U, then select project from view. Okay, now we project this frame from the view. Now, here you go to the UV editor, now you see that we project it. Now, go to your shading. Now, I need to import the exact frame of my UV projection. Okay, now doing this, just plug it to the face, base mesh. Now, we have this. Now it might not be set properly, so you need to go to the UV editor, then adjust it, then set it. This is why you need to do image sequence, it's very important. Okay, now now let's go back to the mesh. Now let's go to preview. Now we have the exact texture of my hand on our 3D model. Okay, you can see that this is really looking good. So in some parts, you might not have a better mesh, so we need to go to texture painting to fix this. Now this is the texture painting, and we need to choose the clone stamp tool to be able to paint some part of this okay so we can have a clean hand to work with okay let's do that right now and fix it okay and if you want to paint from texture you can shoot the clone then you can set your texture then set it okay now we need to place some blood on it so go to the color now set this to red you can drop down the illuminant and so that we can have a dark red so you can paint on it properly just paint on the top of the hand okay to have something like this hand will really cut Okay, now let's go back to the module. Now we can fix this roughness so you can put it to your own lightning. Okay, now we have the module and everything is looking good. Now set up your light and everything will be perfect. Now I use like three light area lamp for this. 
looking at this in preview mode everything looks cool okay and it's set now go to your frame settings make sure you have in transparency on so make sure you are on transparency okay now let's go to this rendered view right now okay go to the render view make sure you are in cycles first if you have your gpu make sure you turn your gpu you can see just turn it to gpu compute now you can have a fast render okay at this in render view everything looks good now let's do the render okay click on render and you should have your render so after all this then i do the composite and this is the final shot mm -hmm.